It's Wednesday, September 3rd, 2008. Time for another Small Talk Daily with James Robertson of Syncom Systems. This morning I thought I'd go through something kind of interesting. My wife asked me for a small application that would allow her to play iTunes, specific playlist, in the morning at the alarm clock, instead of having to set an alarm manually. So I figured I'd write a little script to do that. And what I did is I went in here and created a small domain model. And it's going to run a small talk process that'll check every couple of minutes and see if it's time for the alarm to go off. That's pretty basic. And then it's going to go ahead and dump out a script and execute the script. Now I know there are other ways of doing this. I think you can stream straight to iTunes for instance with the Apple script, but I'm just dumping out a file because it's easier and it allows me to look at it and run it outside of the environment if I want to. So I'll take a look at what we did here. Go in here and create the script. All I do is run this little Apple script. Tell application iTunes activate that way in case it's not actually running it'll come up play a playlist and I have a little user interface that allows me to specify the playlist and then just end tell and then at the end of that change that script to be 755 so that it'll go ahead and run and in run script just go ahead and execute it the alarm clock part of this is actually very basic you come in here and you have a couple of buttons where I allow you to set the alarm and then set the playlist down the model and start the alarm process so let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So I'll do this. And I have this little very basic UI. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and set this time. I've defaulted this to eight hours in the future because the idea is this is going to run at night. So let's just say, oh, I don't know, 0936. And I'll specify a playlist that I've got over there in iTunes and I'll set the alarm. And now what I'll do. So I'll go ahead and pause this. And there's iTunes, and you can see that the first song in that playlist is running. And the time happens to be 9.36. You can't see that. You're going to kind of have to take my word for that. But in any case, that's really all there is to it. If I push this aside, you'll notice that I've gone ahead and toggled the thing on these buttons here so that you'd have to reset the alarm because it's already fired. I don't have a whole snooze button thing built into this. Like I said, it's a very, very basic kind of application. The user interface is a thing of very base simplicity. Let me turn this off. And if I go in here and look at this, all I have is turning the alarm on, turn the alarm off, and I have some events handling so that when the domain model says, hey, I'm running the alarm, it'll just toggle the buttons for you. So that's pretty much it for Smalltalk Daily today. Hope you enjoy that. As you can see, it's not that hard to integrate Syncom Smalltalk and Apple Script. Now, you can do the same thing with iTunes over on Windows, but there you'd have to use ComConnect. And while that's not terribly difficult, it's a little more onerous and it requires loading a lot more stuff into the environment.